one of the things I love my walk for that is not traditional for most people is to make Rice Krispie treats. I mean, it's great for stir fry, that is for sure. But it's also fun for some other things, like if you're making fudge or you're making Rice Krispie treats, I think it's just the shape, because it's like having a big, huge, heated bowl. So it's really easy to mix stuff. So I'm gonna show you that today. I hope you like it. So the one thing to know is that, again, you don't need much of a flame. And with Rice Krispie treats especially, if you have a high flame and it gets really hot, then it's more likely to burn your marshmallows and that's where you'll get like the brown and black. This is the texture you're looking for when it gets melted but it's still nice and thick. In fact, sometimes you're still pounding out some of those little pieces of marshmallow that you can see in there. This is just about perfect to add the Rice Krispie treats because you want it to still be thick and gooey. One problem with having too high of heat or waiting too long to add the Rice Krispies is that this mixture will get really thin. And I don't know if you've ever had a Rice Krispie treat before that was sort of hard. Like you go to bite into it and it's, it's kind of rock hard instead of gooey. That's usually why, because the marshmallow stuff got too hot or too thin. So I like it just about this consistency. It's ready to add the Rice Krispies. So you just pour some in. By the way, this only has one bag of marshmallows in it right now, and this is a really big box of Krispies, so I'm definitely not gonna have enough marshmallows for the amount of Krispies that I have. So you don't wanna pour the whole box in at once. So you mix a little in, and you see how the consistency is. And then you mix a little more in. Turn, you can turn the heat off at this point as well. Pretty close. We can probably add a little bit more Rice Krispies, but we like them gooey around here, so we tend to leave it on the gooey side. So once you get it all mixed up, it's as easy as putting it in the pan. Of course, the only thing not easy about it is they are very gooey, so it's, everything sticks to each other. So you just do your best with getting it in the pan. It's okay if you get it on your fingers because you get to eat that off of there. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I'm not gonna take the time to smash it down perfectly flat because it's too gooey for that. So I just let it cool. You have to let it cool. And then I go back in and I cut the squares and scoop them out and serve them. And they are, I've been told by people before, they love these. They love my Rice Krispie treats because they're so gooey. People like gooey, so it's okay to make them that way. What's great about it is it's very easy to make and you don't need a lot of ingredients. So all this was was one bag of jumbo marshmallows. And you don't even need a full box of Rice Krispies, so you actually have extra you can use for cereal or you can just make bigger batches of this with more marshmallows. Um, I did put a little bit of butter, like probably a tea, teaspoon of butter in the marshmallow mix when I stirred it up, which I don't even think is necessary. You can do that without that. Now, the thing about Rice Krispie treats too, because everything is so gooey and sticky, this probably looks like it's gonna be really hard to clean, but actually all I do is put it in the sink, fill it with water, let it set for probably not even an hour, but just let it set for a little while, and it wipes right off. It's super easy to clean. So that's not something you have to worry about either. What? It's okay if you get some. It's okay if you get them on your fingers because you get to lick them off. <laughs>